Mexico and the rut is on. That's a nice bull. I mean, if he has spots, I'll probably pass, but... <laughs> Alright, I'll, yeah. I'll take that one. There we that go. Right That's there. a nice bull. Alright, I changed my mind. That's the one I want. That's I'm hunting this week with Pete Angle from Plexstone Game Calls. We've had some wild game cameras out, and the window shopping, you could say, is ridiculous. I'm fired up. I won't be able to sleep tonight. I've never had a chance to hunt the Montosa, and I've always wanted to hunt here. This is a place that, that elk hunters should dream about having the opportunity to hunt because it's it's so good. Just right down in the bottom. Oh, okay, and, yeah, 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 I see him. I don't know how many, but I just guess 50 or 60. We probably got 100 on this far ridge over here. Yeah, we got elk coming from way down there still. Not only did we find elk, we had found this bull that everybody had been talking about. They've been talking about the big five, the big five, and I'm like, well, I love big fives. There is no cows in between us and the bulls now. They got everything pushed back into that one little place there. The wind is terrible. Oh, he's right here. There he is. There he goes right through there. That was him. That's the back of the bull right there. This one that you can see. I think we need to move in. We got really close, so it'll happen. It's gonna happen. Let's go find one more. Well, we got really, really close. And I know I've, I've kind of, I don't think we've established the point yet that I've told you that if you kill me a really good bull that I'm, I will buy you a new PSE bow. So you could almost, in that situation right there, it's getting hot. You could almost uh, you was you were you were feeling the the PSE in your hand. Yeah, when when I seen him coming through the trees, I was like, man, what kind of sights am I gonna put on that PSE bow? AXT. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were gonna get a set new AXT sight, new PSE bow. There's still one more that's laying down there. Shoot. 
The Flexstone game calls partnership with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is not just selling game calls. It's about preserving our hunting heritage, managing land and game conservation. And that's why we're a big part of it. Go down to the, look at this one here, this is, this is that six by six bull that we were on. He was up high above us this morning with those cows. single tree is right in line with the ridge of that yeah he's right at the base of it I, my thing is I don't want to run him out of the country for the moment you know what I mean but at the same time like I want to try to get a chance and I mean do you think we could bugle at him and get we could maybe get right down here if we could get the wind right hunting always, always favors the elk. Go ahead, I just back up and try. Let's see what happens. Let's just end it this way. So you're gonna have yeah. moments where you have the wind in your favor, <clears throat> and uh, and they or they make a mistake and let it be in your favor uh, when you have to capitalize. I mean, we had the big five at 104 yards. That was as close as we got to it. But I mean, we looking at him, he's a 365, 370 type five point, which is an absolute giant. He's a big five, he's a giant, giant bull. That is the bull that we're trying to kill. on but there's just so many elk which is a great thing but separating a couple out to make something happen is increasingly difficult nice boat mm -hmm. well, I wish you had one yeah me too You start to wonder to yourself, like, you know, is this something that, that we can do? I and mean, we're getting so close, but, you know. The bull's right there in the 
about a hundred yards. Seventy-eight yards in brush, which has been the story, nonstop. It's hard not to be disappointed when you get so close to such a big bull. Here we go. It's going down today. You ready? Hey, well, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Let's go get him. Blackstone just came out with this brand new elk call. It's called the Glunker. It saved us so many times, it was insane. I just blew it. I mean, just absolutely blew it. I shot right over his back, 50 yards. I have no explanation, zero. You've been working on something all year and you get to this point and you, and you just blow it. I know I just shanked one, but that's on me, and let's forget about it, and let's just, you know, go on out there and, and, and make something happen. How far is that cow? How far is that cow? 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop Hunting at the Montosa Ranch has been an action-packed experience. From day one, we were amidst bugling bulls. There were elk everywhere. I just couldn't get it together. At one point, I had a giant five by five at 35 yards with no shot. You know, it's one of those hunts where not everything would come together for me. We had like 45 elk right in front of us, anywhere from 15 to 70 yards, and we saw that big five by five, and I just couldn't get a shot. Yeah, because there he got it. And then, like, I thought he slid right here. Archery has been something that's been a big challenge for me, which is a big challenge for everybody. Yeah, we gotta find him quick. We got a big thunderstorm coming in. Like you still worry about it, and you still just, you're nervous about the shot, no matter what. Uh, I felt like this was a little bit high and maybe a little bit back. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Like. He is a big son. Look at that. Oh, man. Wow. What an awesome, awesome bull. There's... You know, that bull that I killed may, may have very well, you know, just walked off of forest, passing through, headed to more forest, or, or no matter where he was headed, but he probably wouldn't be that without, the, you know, a water guzzler um, that, that volunteers and put together or, you know, uh, noxious weed treatments and, and things of that nature and and all that stuff you know comes up for me whenever I start thinking about it it's so awesome to uh, to have a chance to kill a bull like this so thank you yeah. oh, the lifetime, man. Sure.